This video is for class 9 physics and today's topic is transmission of pressure in liquids that is Pascal's law. We have read that the pressure due to liquid at a point in a liquid of density rho at a depth h below its free surface is p equals to h rho g we have studied till here in our previous videos. Obviously, the pressure difference between any two points x and y in a stationary liquid, confined stationary liquid, will depend only on the difference in the vertical height. Because if it is the, if it is the same liquid, the density and the acceleration due to gravity will remain same. Now, if by some means the pressure at one point x is increased, either it is pressed or some liquid is being added on top of it, the pressure at the other point y also must increase by the same amount that's very important thing by the same amount right if pressure on x is increased by 10 pascal the pressure on y also should increase by 10 pascal so that the difference in the pressure between two points x and y may remain same thus pressure exerted at the point x is equally transmitted to the point y this is Pascal's law. Let us try to understand this particular paragraph. Now, let us consider a confined liquid. Let us consider a vessel. Okay. And it has one liquid whose density is, suppose, rho. So, density of this liquid should be rho. density is equal to rho right and now suppose i consider x point x here right this point is x and i consider another point dot y here okay now pressure on x pressure on x is because of this height here right whereas pressure on y is because of this height here right i hope you understood this till here now the expression for pressure at x let us take px S sorry should be equal to first height let it be h1 okay this height here h1 whereas the pink color height is let it be h2 here so h1 rho g and the pressure on the second point that is py is suppose h2 rho g here what do we observe is we observe that rho g and rho g are same so the difference of any pressure right should be because of the difference of the height right obviously we know that py is more than px by how much by the factor h2 minus h1 by the factor h2 minus h1 because of the difference of the height suppose we pour some more liquid on top of this liquid now what will happen is the pressure on x and y both will increase why because we have a new height let this be new height here of the liquid column this extra height will generate extra pressure right let that extra pressure on x be 10 pascals right by what value has the pressure increased on x that is 10 pascals here by what value will the pressure increase on y it should be also 10 pascals only why because the increase in height is same the new height is same for both x as well as y right so according to your book what does the book say now by some means the pressure at one point x is increased let that be 10 pascals the pressure at another point y must also increase by the same amount 
that should be also 10 pascals so that the difference in the pressure between two points x and y may remain same that means uh, whatever the difference was between the initial values of pressure it will remain same because now the increase in pressure in both the case is 10 pascals right which also means now that's the statement for the pascal's law okay which also means the pressure exerted at a point x pressure exerted at a point x here the pressure exerted at a point x is 10 pascals right this 10 pascals is equally transmitted to point y is equally that is 10 pascal is transmitted to point y i had poured water on top of this label right because of this extra label what happened there was extra pressure on x by how much by 10 pascals by 10 pascals so here we can see the y is also facing a new extra pressure which is also 10 pascals so which means thus the pressure exerted at a point x is equally transmitted to the point y right so if there are any other points in this uh, particular liquid any other points x y z any other points right so the pressure exerted at one point is equally transmitted to the other points as well right that means each one of these points new points will also get extra 10 pascals of pressure right and this can be demonstrated by the experiment now let us go back to the book so pascal's law states that the pressure exerted anywhere in a confined liquid confined means fixed liquid confined liquid is transmitted equally just now we saw it was 10 pascals and undiminished that means without changing the value in all the directions throughout the liquid this can be demonstrated by the following experiment now according to the experiment take a glass flask having narrow tubes coming out from its sides and bottom the flask is provided with an airtight piston at its mouth as shown in figure 4.5 let us go to the figure first so coming to the figure this is a, a flask okay flask filled with water where we have uh, four tubes coming out of it right from different places okay and it is provided with a piston here right a piston movable piston if you push this it goes down and the pressure will be exerted on the liquid if you push this down pressure will be exerted on the liquid so under this scenario the water in each tube will be at the same level the initial level of water in each tube is shown by the dotted black line here the dotted black line okay so the initial level of water will be somewhere around here sorry here it should be of the same level the reason is water seeks its own level now push the piston down into the flask gently it is observed that jets of water rises out from each tube jets of water rises out from each tube and it comes out with the same force as shown by this red dotted line reaching the same height which is shown by the upper dotted colored line this shows that the pressure applied to the enclosed liquid is transmitted equally in all the directions everywhere inside the liquid this is another way to increase the pressure by pushing the liquid the liquid is confined okay i hope you uh, understood this experiment right uh, this much for this video thank you so much